and welcome to Outworld Showroom in Giva. Today we will show you, as Sina just mentioned, uh, a lot of things uh, and also uh, a lot of features and tips and tricks. To begin with, we will start in the three to four person tents, also known as the compact tents. Jakob and I will show you uh, just a few designs and show you some of the features and then we will head into some of the new tents and also some of the tents uh, from previous years. To begin with, I'll just tell you something about uh, the three different types of fronts you'll uh, see on Atwell tents. To begin with, the sloping front. So the sloping front, you actually notice it has really sloping front. It allows you to have extra footwear just inside the tent when it's closed. And also the aerodynamic style of the tent allows it really to be a stable tent out on the camping site. So moving on to the next one is the uh, straight front. And the straight front is actually, as it says, uh, straight in the front. But just to show you one of the tent that we have uh, pitched here is the Rose Wheel 4. Yep. And um, looking into the um, front of the tent, and it actually it is a quite a way into the tent in this case, um, due to obvious reasons. But the front of the tent is actually right here. So when we see the open panorama front here, it actually has uh, a front that can be rolled completely to the side and Hence, you actually see this, it actually has a front that goes straight down to the ground. So um, this is the, f the straight front to, um, to this type of uh, tent. In this case, the Rose Wheel 4 SA also has what we will later show, a movable front. Uh, but we will show this on a later occasion in the six person tent where we go on to the Rose Wheel uh, 6 SA. Uh, the next one is the uh, canopy front to uh, a family tent and just uh, going out of all the uh, uh, guy lines here um, showing you that we also have a little tent here with a canopy style. Canopy style, yeah again it actually uh, gives the full overview here. Canopy style where you have a little canopy actually in front of the, um, of the tent canopy actually allows you to sit inside have a shade or also actually sit out with a, a slight drizzle of rain the sides on the canopy can in various uh, be as here very uh, narrow in the side but you will also see some with a longer and wider um, sloping sides on the canopy so it actually gives you some um, uh, well uh, for wind so you actually sit outside in the canopy, um, still being outside even in, on a windy or rainy, uh, rainy day. So just uh, for some very few, just the three uh, types of fronts that we use on Atwell tents. Uh, Jakob, you yep. will um, now tell us a bit about the different types of uh, frames and air tubes and, exactly. and all those things that are actually for many people the question what type what of to choose what yeah. to choose yeah. yeah so can you uh, give us a, a quick uh, yeah. walk through on those uh, three different types no problem uh, I will start uh, telling you all about the different types of uh, poles uh, we're using on uh, our tents at uh, Outwell the first one we are using is uh, our Duotex uh, glass fiber pole. If we can uh, get the camera a little bit closer, we can see the special about this kind of a pole is that we have some sort of, uh, of net all around the, the pole, which will uh, strengthen uh, up the, the tent. So if you are that uh, unfortunately that uh, it will snap or break, it will, uh, the damage will not be uh, as big as it could be with a, a classic uh, type of uh, glass fiber. Uh, another benefit of, uh, of this uh, kind of pole is that it is uh, extremely light, which means that uh, when you have a, a compact tent like, uh, like this one, it will bring, bring down the, the weight uh, of the tent uh, and will still uh, keep the strength uh, at the same time. Um, so we use this one uh, on our compact tent like uh, the Cloud, the Encounter series, 
uh, and also uh, on the some of the bigger uh, family tents uh, with another uh, light fabric uh, like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Do you also have, or do we also have our other types of uh, of poles Excellent. in the outwell tents? We does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another type uh, of uh, frame is our steel pole. Um, the steel pole is uh, built in uh, uh, three, uh, what can I say, dimensions. We have the, the bottom, the middle and the boat uh, top, uh, which will go through uh, the whole uh, tent. The strength about this one is that uh, when it is uh, extremely windy uh, or, um, or just uh, a, a bigger family tent, it will be, uh, be more stable. Uh, on the campsite um, and um, it will also give you uh, a lot more comfort in, uh, in the tent. We use uh, this type of, uh, of pole to, to our bigger tents and also uh, to, uh, to an extension on this uh, Roseville um, like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know few uh, ask uh, what would be the benefit of poled uh, versus uh, air tubes and just uh, we will actually show it later on because we will also go into the larger family tents yeah. uh, but we do use color coded poles so when you actually are, are going to pitch a pole tent it will be color coded but we will show you later on when we actually go down into the larger uh, family tents yeah. so um, just uh, we will get back to that uh, later on we will. Jacob, that was um, the two poled uh, yeah. ways of, of polling tents but we do have something which is not new it's actually something we, which which we've had for many years exactly and um, which is really innovated and uh, strengthening from uh, outwell yeah um and that is the uh, air tubes the air tubes yes exactly and we were proud of our air tubes yeah our air tubes we have uh, two uh, two kind of models we have the rigid air system and then we have the power airframe um, this model, uh, just to show you, you just uh, open the valve down here and then you fit it with uh, the pump that comes uh, with the tent uh, when you are buying into to an air tent. And then you just put it on and turn it uh, a little bit so it, it is firm and then you just to pump up and then it doesn't take uh, that long time to to get each, uh, to get each uh, power frame standing. Um, if we can uh, go inside the tent, uh, I will show you um, some more features about this one. Yeah, and um, yeah, so Jakob, yeah. being inside the tent yeah. um, with the air tubes, yeah? yeah. Um, what is the advantage of, uh, of the air tubes when you are, is there any uh, differences if you are inside the tent, whether it's the pole tent or an air tube uh, tent? Uh, I will say for the first, it is uh, easier to, to pitch uh, an air tent. It's just to, to put on the, on the valve and then uh, fill it with the, the follow of the pump uh, yeah. to the tent. Uh, it's also very stable uh, in the air tubes uh, and it's also lighter uh, when you're gonna a compact uh, your tent down. Okay, yeah. so actually um, um, speaking about pitching the tents, yeah. um, it would to some extent actually be easy if you're only one person, you can manage to pitch an air tube tent uh, quite no, easily no uh, problem. Yeah. in one person. Yeah. And with uh, pole tents, um, I would recommend at least being two, but if you are very skilled, you can manage uh, being only one, but it, it actually, um, it, it makes it far more easy if you are, if you have four hands uh, to, exactly. to pitch um, yeah. uh, a pole tent. So uh, yeah, quite good to have those um, interesting points uh, into yeah. uh, the differences. We will later on go into more details uh, uh, between pole tents and, and air tents um, and we will also see uh, different types of um, sizes whether it's uh, a pole tent or an air tent because there is some differences uh, also in the packing way uh, of, of those. Uh, of products. course these. Yeah. yeah. So shall we move on to um, the first tent? Yeah, let's do um, that. And it's actually uh, the uh, the new 
uh, one of the new ones for season 2021. It is. Um, a really nice, little neat uh, compact tent. And uh, Jakob, the uh, Oakwood 3, yeah. if you could uh, start just uh, introducing that. Yeah. The Oakwood uh, 3 is uh, one of our new models for the 2021 uh, season. As it says, it is a three-person tent. Um, it is a tent um, uh, with the Outex uh, 3000 um, and with the, the bigger uh, tended uh, windows and with the, the mesh panel uh, so we can provide a, a good comfort. Yeah. If we, we take a, a look on the, the top of, uh, of the design of the tent, then we can see here that uh, it is uh, lightened in the top and uh, also in, in the front uh, to give some more uh, light uh, into the tent. So also in the, the daytime you have some, uh, some beautiful uh, atmosphere inside the tent. At the back of the tent uh, it is uh, darknet. Um, which will give a, a what can you say a, a darker bedroom uh, in the in the sleeping time, uh, so you're not going to to wake up at four o'clock in the morning uh, just because the the sun is is going up, if you can say so. Um, and then on the the back of the tent, I, we we take on another will. tent uh, just to to tell you all that um, it has a, a big uh, mesh panel uh, to provide. Uh, a nice airflow inside the tent. Yes, and just to highlight on the uh, on the poles, um, Jakob, could you just tell us something about the um, small uh, wind stabilizer, wind stabilizer, yeah. which is added onto the poles? Yeah. Uh, on this, uh, on on our uh, outwell tents, uh, we have this uh, wind stabilizer, which will provide the, the tent to to stand firm in uh, in heavy weather, um, and this is actually just like uh, an velcro. You fit around the pole, and then you just turn it around here and whoops. And attach it firmly. Yeah. Really nice. And then always to the left. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, we will also um, look at down uh, downstairs. We have uh, a really large steel pole uh, tent and we can also show it uh, really nice and easy yeah. down there. But it is really some of the things that we uh, put on uh, special features to all the type of uh, tents that we have, the family tents. We do make sure that it is stable in all kinds of weather when you, it's actually pitched uh, on the on the campsite. Yeah. So whether it's on a really beautiful uh, seaside, it, it will get uh, windy sometimes. So we do make sure that we have guys lines and wind stabilizers uh, and those kind of things to make sure that the tent is uh, is pitched really firm uh, exactly and and safe yeah going a bit inside the tent yeah. just to highlight a few things uh, in this um, compact three-person tent yeah as Jakob mentioned um, the uh, fabric uh, 4,000 millimeters heterostatic head, uh, Durotex, so it is really a nice and just tiny compact uh, yeah. three-person tent. And as you mentioned, Jakob, uh, in the living area with the grey um, fabric on top, it actually makes it really light inside. So even though we are inside and um, having roof over the head, so yeah. to speak, uh, it is actually quite uh, light uh, inside uh, it is. still and um, giving you really a nice atmosphere inside. Also then in the evening and to have the privacy you still have curtains on mm. uh, on the sides of yeah. the windows. And the tinted windows also gives you that privacy so it doesn't really, it, it's not that easy actually to look from the outside no. but you can still look very easily to the outside of the tent. Exactly. So with the uh, toggle up curtains in this little new Oakwood 3, yeah. uh, very easy actually to, um, to have that privacy uh, guarded. Yeah. Sleeping area, Jakob, uh, is a bit special in the Oakwood uh, yeah. 3. Uh, in, a, in a standard uh, tent, uh, you're lying uh, on, a, on a different... Uh, yeah, here you actually lie on, on the vertical... Vertical, uh, yeah, yeah. that was what I was looking for. The vertical uh, way, 
which is a, a little bit uh, special um, in our tents. Yeah. yeah. So in this way here, because it's it's wider than it's actually long, you are actually uh, um, uh, faced with your head to one side, where normally you would lie with your in head uh, out towards to the window the, uh, of ventilation. Area. Yeah. Yes. So and as you notice, so uh, we have also here the um, curtains to the new system with the. Uh, ventilation system here you do have a curtain so that you can actually close the window um, or the curtains here so it will give you a really dark feeling inside the inner the yeah. sleeping cabin here so a really nice a little compact tent with a lot of features so with mosquito net in the front with a panoramic front so if you are uh, out in the morning with a bit of uh, fog and you will sit and and watch over a really nice pitch you still have availability actually to uh, be inside however though still yeah. being outside on the pitch but also to mention uh, we have actually also a, a yeah. good standing height uh, inside our tents yeah True. Yeah. And you are, in, in Danish, in European terms, 190 yeah. uh, centimetres, so it's uh, actually quite high. And I have plenty of room. You have plenty of room. Yeah. So, shall we move on to uh, one of the next uh, yeah, let's tents? Yeah. And this is actually a very small tent that we are, we are looking at now. This is a typical uh, sort of beginner tent. But it's also for the teenager or for uh, those who wants to um, engage into camping for the first uh, time. Yeah. So the cloud which we have pitched here um, is a tiny little tent, cloud four. And Jakob, perhaps you can just show um, that this tent is a part of the encounter range. Yeah. And the encounter range has um, the cloud tents also the earth, earth tents and the and dash, the dash. Um, and this is a type of tent that actually has the duratex poles it's a dome tent so it's very easy actually to pitch it has a little room in front so that you have the availability to put some boots a bag if you are on hiking you can place a few things out in the front of the tent and then you have uh, a nice um, roomy feeling inside your sleeping area and in this way you also actually have a see-through area yeah. because the cloud is a really handy little tent with the availability to have a rear opening and the rear opening allows you actually to go really fast in and out the tent if you are the person sleeping on the uh, back side of the, of the tent. Yeah. Um, but also it allows you, if you are uh, really perfectly pitched, being able to uh, look outside um, the rear of the tent and watching a really nice uh, sunset, um, that is really superb. It's perfect, yeah. Also, this is a tent which has really good height, so uh, Jakob, yep. even you will be able to I sit can inside. I perhaps uh, uh, go inside, it yeah. is easy to, to go through. Yeah. Um, and now I am... Actually, uh, sitting inside the tent, and uh, if, as uh, you can see, I have plenty of room. There's uh, space uh, for uh, four people easily, uh, with mesh panels in the in the side, and also this beautiful panorama uh, win window and access door in the yeah. backside. And of course, you do still have the availability to close the rear door. Yeah, no problem. And also, you have a door to the sleeping compartment and again the door to the front area yeah. so you do have the possibility to close the tent fully and being safe for any uh, type of uh, wind and rainy conditions um, just to mention that uh, the flooring on an outwell tent is actually a sewn in ground sheet yeah. and a sewn in ground sheet we will show later on where it's even more e uh, easy for the camera also to go into the uh, to the tent but just to mention that especially here on the front of the cloud you do have a detachable uh, ground sheet in the front so the ground sheet here is actually possible 
to remove and in that case also to take out and um, just rinse uh, under water and make it clean before you actually pack your tent uh, uh, back on the campsite. So a really nice little trip, uh, tips and tricks is to of course uh, pack your tent uh, neat and tight together when it's dry and of course also clean. Yeah. Yeah. Jakob, um, we do have some more tents in this uh, collection, but yeah. just before we actually head into some of the compact tents, yeah. um, we have this uh, uh, special feature with the uh, extension that we actually uh, that we've pitched for just this occasion. Here. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the um, extension which we have here, it's actually quite easy to um, to 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 pitch. Yeah. Um, I know we actually did it uh, yesterday after we had a few other shows, and it took uh, us just um, five minutes, ten minutes with all the uh, packings. Um, but it's quite easily actually to. Uh, widen your canopy or extra area in front of your tent. Yeah. So just to give you some idea of uh, the extra living space this. you have inside this uh, extension, uh, which is a universal extension. So if you do have um, another type of tent in that the Rose will fall, you will actually be able on to that on our website to see what type of uh, extension, universal extension, your uh, tent would actually uh, be needing. Yeah. But just to give you that sort of roomy feeling um, that it actually gives you extra room yeah. and living space. Also, just to mention that uh, the front two side panels of the extension can actually be zipped off. So in this case, you can just zip it up, um, remove the packing in the front and roll up so that you have a roomy feeling, but still with the roof over your head for some shade in the sunny uh, yeah. uh, holiday. Perfect. Yeah. I'll just show you how it's actually attached onto the side of the tent because um, the tent needs to have this type of uh, buckles so that it will actually fit onto an outwell uh, uh, tent. So the first thing you actually do when uh, toggling in uh, an extension to your tent is this little flap that is actually sewn onto an outwell uh, tent. So that is actually attached and you will this with this buckle just slide it in here, tension the strap when actually it's pitched out in the front. So that will actually go in first. You then slide in the steel poles and they are exactly the same which is why they're not color coded. So you slide that in and just with a normal uh, tent you actually uh, have the uh, the packing uh, tools so it's fairly easy actually to uh, to put up the uh, the tent. Using the wind stabilizers and s f um, tensioning in, in all sides using the guy lines it's actually a way to extend the um, the living area in your tent. And Jakob, I know that we've had uh, already by now some uh, some questions uh, about both uh, the rose tail and some um, technical uh, features on uh, fabrics. And the next two tents we have here, yeah. that's um, two types of uh, compact family tents. It is. And I know the first question we already had on the rose tail four is um, how fast it's actually uh, is to pitch. It's to pitch, yeah. and also to fold uh, back and pack into your uh, pack sack. Yeah. Um, since this is uh, an air tent, so the 4PA air tent, and as Jakob uh, said uh, previously, the air tent yeah. is quite easy. It's easy. So what you actually do is you have the air tubes, you mount the pump that actually follows the tent, you mount that to the uh, to the valve and you pump I would say uh, 10 to 15 um, pump Sh strokes, uh, strokes to the tent and it it will take roughly uh, 30 to 45 seconds on each tube depending on I would say conditions. Yeah. If it's really warm you might uh, use a bit longer because otherwise you will sweat like uh, I don't know what uh. in the end. But roughly a tent in this size um, 
if you are skilled, you can do this easily within less than 10 minutes. Um, so do practice at home if you have the possibility first uh, and pitch a tent before you go on the campsite because it will make you look even more skilled when you go on the campsite and for sure the neighbours won't look and, and have that uh, laugh about you. But it also will make, make you really uh, sure that you know what to use and where to, to put it. So um, roughly 10 minutes if you are skilled. But yeah. if you the first time go out and allow yourself 30 minutes, you'll be way long both with uh, the air uh, tubes, um, with the pitching and uh, roll, because rolling the uh, door to the sides, it's actually what um, I would say takes uh, a most the longest time sometimes. So um, give yourself, allow yourself uh, 30 minutes the first time you actually um, pitch um, a type of tent like this one here and packing it down. This is where tips and tricks again yeah. um, when we uh, we will later show you how easy and and how easy it is actually to True. deflate a tent and how fast it also goes but deflating and packing together is really some something that is um, really fast mm. and um, uh, you will see later on but um, and we will give you some uh, tips and tips tricks, and tricks uh, on, on, yeah. on that as well yeah then we're being asked um, the uh, weathers uh, or the fabric uh, between 4,000 millimeters and the 6,000 millimeters um, in a windy and weathery conditions. Uh, of course, it all depends on uh, the type of weather you are camping in. Um, but with a 4,000 millimeters hydrost hydrostatic height, as this this one here, um, I would say this actually can endure a lot of uh, rain. Um, because considering that 4,000 millimetres, the way that it's actually being measured allows four metres of water actually to be on top of a fabric like this one here before water will actually pour through uh, the material. So it, it, it does depend on, 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 the, weather. Uh, on the weather conditions. Yeah. But also just to, um, to give you um, a little uh, information about what's actually inside a tent. So if we can have the camera inside here, and just show the uh, tight seams that we have on. Um, perhaps you can show that. Yeah, Jacob. no problem. We have the seams uh, in the top, as you can see here, on the, the tinted window, all the way through, uh, which will uh, provide uh, water to get inside the tent. Uh, and that is a, a classic uh, outwell um, detail on our models. Yeah. Okay. So that is also to, uh, to make sure that even though that we have uh, some uh, stitching holes when the, prop, when the tent is being made, um, those small holes will actually be plastered with this um, tight seams on the back side of a tent. So the inner cabin will always be dry. Yeah. Yeah? It is. Um, dark inners is also a question and, and perhaps uh, we can have this uh, I think perhaps it is easier to show uh, on the bigger tents yeah. downstairs. But just to give you an idea that because this tent I just noticed is not open on the rear side um, and also the curtains have been rolled up so if I just go in the corner um, and it's it can be difficult to show on the camera but um, I, I'm not saying that I disappear but uh, it actually perhaps shows you the um, the roomy feeling of a small compact tent like this one here, but also that it is quite dark going from the uh, inner cabin and outside to the living area. Yeah. So I do think that the dark inners, uh, even though it's something we we name it, but it also is an effective um, uh, little feature. Yeah. If we can just quickly go over to the uh, to the, the park, park dale. dale. Um, just to mention that the rose dale of course is a two zone tent. Going into the park dale, three this zone. is a three zone tent, yeah, yes. Exactly. So you have the, the wet area in the, the front of the tent, uh, the quick and quiet inner doors like this. This is a magnet door where you have the, the living area inside. And then we have the sleeping area also with the quick and quiet in this model. And this is fitted with the, the air tubes. Yeah. Yeah. 
And still, Jag, when you go in and out that uh, quick and quiet inner door, it still gives you uh, a possibility to actually um, have that roomy feeling yeah. over your head. And just to mention that the um, partition door here on a three zone tent, of course, it can't be rolled to the side. No problem. So you are not actually uh, fir fixed and firm with a type of tent with a partition door as this one here. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just a few things on the three uh, to four person tents and giving you uh, some glimpse of the showroom. Um, we will uh, head on uh, later on to uh, the larger tents and uh, show you even more of the roomy feeling yeah. you can have on a campsite. So uh, giving it on to uh, Tessina again and uh, see you later.